without fin. <laughs> Great thing about a stream is it's a natural resource. As organic as they come. A bit like a hoe really. It's about the most organic weed killer you can get. Dogs. About the most organic pest control. These little buggers do. Mice, moles, rats, rabbits. And then they look at you sweetly, having just killed them. But as a nurseryman, you have to look after things. You stop. Right, crown buds. Bit of bloody blanket weed. Come on that, brother. They're on here. I actually dug up a further piece of uh, the delphinium. But this was the original piece. And this one. So we're going to go over and I'm going to show you how to chop them up. The easiest tool for extracting crown buds off of a root is a pair of secateurs, which I always have, and a scalpel. You get scalpels from Amazon or somewhere like that. My mother-in-law uses them for keeping the corns off her feet. But then, you know what they're like, they get scabby as they get older. It's also important when you're using a scalpel for propagation that you do it on a piece of glass or a piece of wood. I knew a guy who once did it on his lap and spoke his tadger. Little buds, you can cut them. If there's a lot of dead material, you can cut that off. That's quite suitable. I'll just trim up a little bit of excess there. Sometimes a little bit of the old wood really helps because it helps produce a bit of root. I'm quite happy with that. There's a dormant one there. Again, there's a piece of old stem. I'm going to cut most of that off. And potentially, because there's a piece of rind there, this could well produce a plant. I wouldn't be so... If we look in here, you can see there's another one. We'll have that out. and try and keep a piece of the old stem. The old stem is quite helpful because that's where they will produce some roots from. Nope, I think we've had a lot there. Here, and we'll cut up the middle. Cut across. And again. You can see there's a dormant bud there. I love that. There's a lovely two big buds here. There's another one there. And a great big one here. And on smaller plants you can get your scalpel in behind and cut off a shield of material. That's almost perfect. 
That's a perfect little crown bud. In fact, we'll pop that one up first. So, having not spoke my tadget, we'll move on to the next stage, which is quite simple. Tamp down a little pot of compost, slide your bud in just below the surface. Tamp round or lightly press. It doesn't really matter if you go a little bit deeper on things because they were under the ground anyway. So you can go a little bit. I just like to see the bud sticking over the top. That one I put a little bit deeper. You can just see it in there. Not unlike the point of a hyacinth if you've ever done hyacinth. And that's about all there is. I would think from that half a root of delphinium, I'll get 40 or 50 plants. They'll grow on quite nicely. It's an easy job. It's a very profitable job. And that's about it. Water those in, and away you go. Honest to God, a monkey could do it. Are we done now? Because I've got a wet arse out here. Well, he must. Oh. I'm doing these in the potting shed and a bit of comfort.